The Nissan X-Trail has always been a great option if you're looking for a mid-size SUV, and this latest generation promises so much more. It's more stylish, it's better to drive and more practical, plus there's a brand new e-power hybrid engine. So we're going to take a look at it today, find out what it's all about, and let you know whether it's worth considering. You could be forgiven for not knowing that this is a Nissan X-Trail, especially when you look at most of the previous generations, which were quite slab-sided and boxy. It's quite a big car, and that's to allow for the extra seats in the boot. But overall, it's definitely got a more premium look and feel to it. Up front, you've got a large grille with the new Nissan logo slap bang in the middle, and you've got the headlights and the fog lights separated on the front. Overall, the look of the Nissan X-Trail is a lot more premium, especially when you consider it against X-Trails of old. The X-Trail's interior is a huge improvement on this latest model. The previous generation, well, it kind of felt a little bit cheap and cluttered with buttons in places, but this one is a much better option. You've got a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system, which controls your satellite navigation, your phone, and your media and you've also got a separate unit which controls your climate control which is great because you don't want to go hunting in the screen just to change the temperature the cabin materials are also extremely good too and they look to be pretty durable and there's lots of spaces dotted around the cabin for various bits so you've got a place down here where you can charge your phone a couple of decent cup holders and some storage space under your arm there's also some charging options too so you've got a usb a usb-c and a 12 volt charger too so you've got plenty of options there overall it's a much more premium place to be what's great about the x-trail is nobody is going to be found wanting when it comes to rear seat space the back seats are slightly elevated so you're not hiding behind the front seats and they're also on rails too so you can slide them back and forth depending on whether you've got somebody sat in the back or if you've got larger items in the boot too. What's also great in this X-Trail is you've got a couple of heated seats, some charging points, so a USB and a USB-C, plus some climate controls as well. Great place to be if you're on a long journey. The Nissan X-Trail has a usefully large boot space with 585 litres on offer with the front five seats in place. That is considerably less than the Skoda Kodiak, which has 720 litres. However, you can fold down the rear seat to extend it to 1,424 litres. The Nissan X-Trail has been around for many years now and it's always been rather rugged and utilitarian. It's been the workhorse of the family, but this latest generation it's definitely a lot more grown up. Just take a look at the outside, the design and the styling is definitely more premium and the same applies behind the wheel. The big news with this X-Trail is that new e-power hybrid system and the way it works is slightly different to other hybrid systems that are out there at the moment. Underneath the bonnet is a 1.3 litre petrol engine that pumps out just over 200 brake horsepower and its job is to generate electricity for the motor to then power the wheels. And this E-Force model has an extra motor added above the rear axle to make this a four wheel drive. Does that make sense? So what does that mean in the real world? Well, according to Nissan, you should get around 42 miles per gallon and emissions of 152 grams per kilometer of CO2. Now that might not sound groundbreaking, but you've got to remember this is a big seven seat SUV. And if this had had a big engine that matched that sort of power output, you'd find that the economy would be a lot lower and the emissions a lot higher. So now the running costs are out of the way. What's it like to drive? Well, it's very different to X-Trails of old. Like I said before, it's a much more grown up proposition. The steering feels nice and well weighted and it's a lot more refined too. Plus, even on 19 inch alloy wheels, the ride is very comfortable and costing. You could definitely do a long journey in this without any problems whatsoever. Visibility is also excellent at the front and at the rear and you've got all manner of parking aids to help when it comes to squeezing it into tight spaces. Now while the X-Trail might have the look of a big rugged SUV it's not the sort of car you want to be taking too far off the beaten track. Yes it might have e-force four-wheel drive but it's not set up to be a go anywhere 4x4 
a bit like the older X-Trails. The latest generation X-Trail is a far better proposition than the model it replaces. Whereas before it was quite rugged and utilitarian, this one is far more rounded around the edges. Outside it looks far more stylish and the interior build quality is much improved. Plus the drive is a lot smoother and you've got the addition now of that e-power hybrid system, which is extremely clever. If you're in the market for a seven seat mid-size SUV, then the X-Trail has to be worth considering. Thanks for watching this motors.co.uk new car review of the Nissan X-Trail. Let us know what you think of it in the comments section below. Would you own one or would you go for another mid-size SUV? And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the motors.co.uk YouTube channel and click that bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video.